Good evening, good evening. Hello, hello. Let me see some people are already connected. Miss Carla, how how is everything for you, Carla? Hello, hello. Hi, teacher. Bye. How are oh perfect? How was your day? I am working. You're working at this moment? Yes, teacher. In the oh. field pass at the meeting. Oh really? In the second, in the second part I participate. In oh, the right. the meeting start at the eight o'clock. At eight o'clock, almost about to, to start at this moment. Yes. All right. Sorry, Carla, where do you work, by the way? In the Walmart, but the meat plant. Oh, all right. Okay. Oh, I understand. All right. Thank you uh, so much. In in this in this moment in the meeting with um the general meeting the 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 Bueno, acá se dice asociados, pero de, de, de worker. <laughs> uh, say la, like, how uh, cool workers could be employees, all right? Employees. Or, or you, uh -huh. can say, you can say partners as well, I believe. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you so much, Miss, for joining. In the moment, my... solo, solo listening. Only this. All right. No problem. Thank you so much for your notification. Okay. Thank I you, I have teacher. more people online. Thank you so much, Miss Ana Cecilia. How is everything for you? Hi, good evening. Thank you, sir. Hello, hello. Uh, so so. Why so so? What's going on? I have a new one. Oh my goodness! My goodness! All right. And are you uh, taking any medication? Um. Yes. Um. <clears throat> after the sleep. Mm -hmm. Si no, aquí me duermo en la clase. Oh my goodness! No, no, no. Yeah, <laughs> yes. At this moment, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I understand. No problem. And thank you so much for joining. I have more people online. Thank you so much for coming here to the class, people. I appreciate your effort a lot. Miss Madeline, how is everything for you? Hello. Hello, guys. Good evening. Good evening. <clears throat> I bye, teacher. All right. Perfect. I perfect, perfect. <laughs> how was your how was your day? Was it busy? Uh, relaxing. Um, How was it? Uh, a little bit busy, teacher. Oh, really? In my mm -hmm. in my work. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I understand. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. All right. I see more people coming online, and as always, I appreciate your effort to be here. Thank you so much. Let's get started at this moment with attendance, and then we have more information to cover today. Let's get started on this one. The first one is Ana Cecilia Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Wait. Then I have Joaquin Ernesto Sanchez. Present. <clears throat> Thank you so much, Mr. and welcome. Lil, uh, Lilian Janet Torres. <clears throat> Lilian, Lilian, hello, hello. Let me see. Uh, next person is Julia Cecilia Scotto. Is Julia, 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 not yet. Alejandra Maria Marroquin. Present teacher. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Uh, thank you, Lillian. All right. For your confirmation over the chat. Then I have Javier Alejandro Menjiva. <clears throat> I'm here. Oh, thank you so much, mister. Welcome to the class. David Antonio Ramos. Present, good evening. Oh, good evening, Mr. And welcome to your class. Josue Francisco Orantes. I'm here. Thank you, Mr. Welcome, welcome. Then Oscar Alberto Guardado. <clears throat> Oscar Alberto. Probably not yet. So let's continue. Carla Alejandra Sanchez. I know you're here, but you're in a meeting. I understand. Thank you so much, Miss, for joining. Then I have Ines Judith Men uh, Mendez. Ines Judith. Not yet. Let me continue. Madeline Stephanie Godoy. Present, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. 
Then I have Nestor Javier Merino. Nestor, not yet, not yet. All right, mm -hmm. let me continue. Jessica Elisa Garcia. Present. Present teacher. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for Nestor and thank you for Jessica as well. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Then I have Lisette Beatriz Palma. <clears throat> Lisette Beatriz Palma. Not yet. I am Mercedes Alicia Alvarado. Present. Thank you, Miss, and welcome to your class. And finally, I have Maria Jose Cordero. Present, teacher. All right. Thank you so much, Miss, and welcome all of you for today's session. Let me check teacher, on the messages. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Will. I was checking on the on the chat at this moment, and thank you so much for your confirmation and welcome all of you on today's session. It's an honor to work with you one more day. Let me see. Let's get started and take a look at this one. What class are we having, people? Number eight. Mm -hmm. All right, exactly. Thank you, thank you. All right, class number eight. Then, let's remember some information. What's the name of this unit? Number two. Uh -huh. Directions and instructions. Ah, thank you so much. All right. Now, everybody, repeat after me. Let's practice directions and instructions. Directions direction and, and instructions. Instruction. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That's okay. Now, let's do something. If you remember, yesterday we were working on something. And let me have some people participate just to see how much you remember. Javier, what were we doing yesterday, Javier? <clears throat> Javier, hello, hello, Javier. Yeah, uh, I, I, I remember. Uh, we talk about the, the part of the uh, companies. Mm -hmm. Uh, using the is and the R. Uh-huh. Thank you. And we <clears throat> we uh, we we was we uh, were <clears throat> yeah we we were we, we were, were uh -huh. hey, we were staffers. No sé cómo se dice eso. Ah no Sorry. it was it it was a fraud. <laughs> Yeah, what? A fraud in what, mister? A fraud in what? <laughs> in the, in, in the, in the game. The activity. <laughs> all right, all right. I understand. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. You have good memory, people. Thank you so much. Now, let me have more people participate to double check on this one. Jos Jose Francisco, hello, mister. Are you ready to participate? Yes. All right. Perfect, mister. Now, let me see. If you want to create a question to ask if something exists, what is the format? What are the questions we practiced yesterday? Uh, if there are, is there or are there? Uh, uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. So we have two formats, people. What is one format? Can we work together, people? What are the formats we have? There is and there are. There is, there are affirmative, correct. And what about the questions? We say? Ah, uh, is are there, there and there? Are there? Are there. Are there, all right. What is the format for plural elements? Are there. Are there. Are there. Are there. And for singular? Is there. Is there. Is there. Is there, exactly. Thank you so much. Nicely done, people. Yesterday, we were working on this one as part of the class. As you know, we were asking about the different places, right? And to have this introduction and to check on something to remember, you know, to have a good practice, let me show you the first activity that we work on. Let me 
begin this one and I give you the first practice of the class. Give me a second while I get everything ready and I copy the link. Let me copy the link over, let's see, the chat, All right? Can you please go to the WhatsApp chat or to the chat on this video conference? And can you please open the link and type in your name just to be part of this activity, please? Thank you. I see three people already. Thank you so much. I, I see Madeline. I see Mercedes. Nestor. Thank you. Thank you. More people coming. Thank you so much. More people coming coming to this practice. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> All right, eleven people so far. Thank you so much for this one. We are nineteen in the video conference, so we're waiting for a few people to log in. I explained to you. We work on this activity and you need to select, you're going to see some sentences with different options. And what do you think you have to do, people? The exercise, you see a sentence and you see alternatives, options. What do you do, people? What do you think? Mm -hmm. Describe. How we read the questions. sentence. All right. In the activity, you will see some sentences and you see some options. For example, two options or three options to complete. So, what do you have to do in this activity, people? You make a. Choose the correct. Exactly. Exactly. You choose the correct or make a selection. That's correct. I see 13 people so far, and that's a good number. So people, let's get started on this one. Let me see some people get in here. We're waiting for players. Check on this one. Thank you. I see some people already here. Perfect, perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. More people connected. Thank you so much. Ten people, thank you. All right, thank you, thank you. More people getting online, thank you so much. Perfect. As I have some people here, I have Ines, I have Joaquin, I have Nestor, Oscar, Madeline, thank you, Javier, I see David, Maria Cordero, thank you, Josue, thank you, uh, Mercedes, thank you, Edwin, Alejandra, and Ana Cecilia, thank you so much. Let's get ready on this one. Remember, make the selection of the correct answer. That's what you have to do. Let's begin and good luck to everyone. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
One, let's keep it up, let's keep it up, thank you.
All right, all right. Thank you so much, people. How did it go in the practice? Everything okay for you? Yes. 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 All right. Yes. Congratulations to you, people. Congratulations for your good score. In the top five, I have David Ramos, Jessica Garcia, Oscar uh, Mercedes, and Alejandra. So congratulations to all of you. Thank you so much. We continue working on this uh, platform. And the next activity is about writing. If you remember yesterday, we were working in groups, right? And we discovered some information from our classmates. Let me have some people. Julia, what? Uh, what did you discover about your classmates' places at work? <clears throat> Park, mm -hmm. working, mm -hmm. nursing room, uh, reception. Uh huh. Um, sterilization room. Sterilization. Sterilization. Sterilization uh -huh. room and mm -hmm. mirror room. Okay. Bathroom. <laughs> all right. Basic, right? But that's okay. It's necessary. Thank you so much. Now, after working and having that review, let's work on this exercise, people. Yesterday, I remember we were working, uh, asking information. And do you remember the last instruction? What was the last instruction from the exercise yesterday for the speaking activity? Take. Do you remember? No, take a note. Ah, exactly. Take notes. Exactly. Did you take notes, people? Yes. Yeah. Perfect. What about the rest? You you look surprised. Take a nap. Take a nap. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> now nah, it was take notes, my friend. Take notes. Now let's do something. At this time, we practice and we report just some information from our classmates. Remember, this is similar to a website, similar to a social network. Let me make it bigger for you <clears throat> so you can see. At this moment, we, I am going to participate with a comment to describe the different places that are in my classmates work. Check on this one. I begin the, my like this one in I, I think I talked to Juanito, right? In Juanito's Juanito's work. There is a meeting room, right? There are some green areas and there is a cafeteria, all right? I have a short description. I give the reference in Juanito's work. You can say on Alejandra's work or Joaquin's work. Because at this moment, you don't report the person, uh, you don't report your own information. It is not about your job. It's about your classmates' work and everything about the facilities on that. When you are ready, click on this button here and you send your reply to this exercise, right? And you see, I have the first post to describe some places about my classmates. That's the, the, the activity we do at this moment. So please, can you collaborate and participate with a comment? Try to incorporate two or three sentences in your comment, right? And use there is and there are to report different places. Now, are we ready for the practice, people? <clears throat> ready, ready? Yes, Hello, only three lines, teacher. Yeah, like three lines. That's okay. That's okay, right? Three, three sentences are okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I will be checking and giving you feedback as you post your comments. Thank you so much.
Thank you, thank you. I see the first responses. I appreciate that. Thank you. Remember, try to report the information for your coworkers, all right? That's the idea. But if not, as, as long as you use there is and there are, it's perfect, all right? Let me see from Marie. Let me make this bigger and give you some uh, feedback on this one. Let me get the instructions smaller. Let's adjust this part. All right, thank you. Miss Marie Cordero, in my work, there is a store, there are offices, and there is a kitchen. Thank you. That's good one, Marie Cordero. Good, good report. Jessica, in this work, there is a coffee maker, there is a first aid kit, uh, and there is a beautiful kitchen. Huh? Amazing. Thank you. Good one. Joaquin, in this work, there is an electancy area, but there is a cafeteria. All right. Also, there is a meeting room. Thank you so much, Joaquin, for the report. Mr. Sorry, Nestor, let's see in Joaquin's work. There is a meeting room. There are uh, dime green areas. Uh, there is uh, there is not a nursing room, right? There is not. Check on this one, Nestor. There is not a game room. Remember to incorporate when we talk about something in singular. Remember to say a or an. In this case, there is a game room. Let me see. I believe I can give you the chance to uh to edit let me see give me a second students students can edit responses All right now you have the, the the chance to to click on your post and you can make modifications to this one thank you david ramos in javier's work there are some meeting rooms uh -huh. there is a game room and there are two cafeterias thank you david good one good, good, good one make the corrections please in the store and then i go to the next mercedes in my office there are five desks there is one computer for desk, uh -huh. there are three architects, and there is a table to see plans. Oh, thank you, Mercedes. That's a good description. Thank you. Miss Julia, let's see, in Jessica's work, there is a little cafeteria room. There is a big parking, and there is a reception. Check on the, the spelling for reception, right? Reception desk, right? Eliminate, I, I think there is 
there we are. Thank you so much, William. And that's okay. Thank you. Let's see on the set. Beatriz, see in my home, there are trees and there are plants. Remember to talk, use the vocabulary from the class. We said, please, by preference, remember to incorporate places like office. Uh, we were talking about game rooms, nursing rooms, meeting rooms. Try to incorporate ideas. The structure is fine, but let's accompany that with vocabulary. Oscar, there is a smoking area, right? Thank you so much, Oscar. If it is worth there is there are production. Check on this one, Miss Ines. In we we need to change something in the first sentence. There are production area, plural and singular. Make the modification. You can say there is a production area, everything singular, or make it plural. There are production areas. Make the correction as you wish, right? There are the same same in the next one. There are warehouse, make it plural, make, make it singular. There is a warehouse. And check on the spelling for warehouse. Let me copy this one, like this one. Warehouse. There is a dining room, that's okay. There are green. Uh, this, the next one you need to change on the information, plural and singular. There are green zone. There are green zones. Make it plural, right? Make it plural in that part. Let's see the correction. Zones. And there is a cafeteria. It's okay. There are parking. Check on this one. You can say there are parking spaces. Make it plural. In that case, you can make it like this and then you'll be fine. Try to make the correction, please, please, please. It's Anna Cecilia. Let's see. It says this work. There is a computer. There are four clinics. There are, uh, check on this one, Miss Anna Cecilia, please. There are a camera. In this one, remember to use uh, plural elements. When you say two, you mention a number, right? And you include the, the word a, eliminate that one. You can change it like this. There are two cameras, like that one. There are two cameras. Make the correction, please. Uh, to study, to study the audition. Ah, there are two cameras, let's see. Um, to study, probably. To study uh, the hearing, probably. That could be an alternative, I believe. Right. Try to make the change, please, please, please. Thank you. Miss Madeline, let me see on this one. Try to make the corrections, people. Please, please, please. En sus publicaciones, usted da clic sobre su comentario. A mí me aparecen acá para borrarlos, cosa que no haré. La de ahí en la esquinita de su comentario. A usted, que es el editor o el, o el autor del comentario, le aparecerán tres puntitos. En los tres puntitos, usted da clic y luego le tendría que dar la opción de editar. Así que, porfas, 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 con la retroalimentación que voy dando, necesito su colaboración para que vaya haciendo la corrección y la actividad sea efectiva, ¿ok? Que no solo me escuche, sino que haga el cambio, si no, no estamos progresando. Así que, please, 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 make the changes, changes, please. Let's go for Madeline in Carla's work. There is, check on this one, Madeline. There is a conference room. There is a conference room. Don't forget, in that case, don't forget the, the article, please, for singular elements. There are many lockers, that's okay. And there is a TV in the cafeteria. Uh, cafeteria for the people, please. Cafeteria, like this one, for the people. Like this, right? For, not two, right? For the people. Thank you so much, Madeline. And don't forget about corrections. Let's go for Javier. In David's work, there are seven million rooms. There is a big cafeteria with four coffee. Check on this one, uh, Javier. The last part is the only plural. Coffee makers, right? Coffee is normal, no plural. Just the last part, coffee makers. Mm -hmm. And there are many computers. Thank you so much. After that, Mr. Javier, everything is fine on your work. Thank you. Josue, in my office, there is a laptop, all right? There are chairs, amazing. And there are some recreational areas. Josue, good job. Good use of there is and there are. Congratulations. Edwin Franco, let's see, in Edwin's work, there are two, ah, check on the plural element, Mr. Edwin, there are two, where, 
warehouses. Make it plural. Make it plural, please. Right? Warehouses. So you have everything in plural. There is a locker room. Okay, that's fine. There are four meeting rooms. Amazing. There isn't a game room. Good job in the narrative. And uh, there are some green areas. Right? Perfect, Edwin. Good job on this one. Congratulations, Nestor. Thank you so much. Make this work. There is a meeting room. There are some green areas. There is not a nursing room. There is not a game room. Hey, thank you, Nestor. Thank you for your new post. Did, you did great on this one. Thank you, thank you. What about the rest of you people? Could you make the corrections? Corrections, corrections? See, coffee makers. Thank you, Javier, for the change. Let me see, let's see. Make the corrections, Ana Cecilia, please, please, please. Let me see the rest of you. What is that the correction? Uh in your in in your sentence, Miss Ana Cecilia. In this one, Miss. Uh, let me see. There is uh there is a computer. Ah. That's okay. There. That's let good. me see. That that is okay. There is a computer. It's fine. There are for clinics. That's okay. There are two cameras to study of the audition hearing. Uh, the cameras are for a purpose. Me imagino que las cámaras hay para, eh, son para hacer algo en específico, est estudio de audición, algo así, me imagino. Exacto, right? exacto. All right, okay, perfect. So in that case, you can say it like this. Uh, like, there are, let's see, there are two cameras. Try to make it plural, right? Recuérdese hacer plural el cámaras porque ya está diciendo que son dos. Entonces no podemos tener two y el nombre del, del objeto en singular, right? There are two cameras, and then to study, let's see, para estudiar, o para analizar, sería la interpretación, to study uh, the hearing, right? Es, pongámoslo de esta forma. There are two cameras to study the hearing, right? Como, es, como para estudiar la audición, la que tanto alguien puede eh, es, escuchar. That could be a good solution for your sentence. All right, thank you. I see more people over here. Thank you, thank you so much. Now, questions about this practice, people? Any question about the, my comments, the corrections, or, or the, the feedback, let's say? Preguntas de la retroalimentación? Questions, questions? Let me have some people participate on this one. Miss Madeline, any question for this activity? Madeline Stephanie, hello, hello. Any question? Uh, not sure. No. All right. Thank you so much. Jessica, what about you? Is there any question? No, teacher. I, I understand. You understand. All right. Thank you so much. That's the important part. Thank you. Thank you. What about for you, Josue Francisco? Any question? Uh... Bueno, recuérdeme el some cuando se utiliza. All right. Okay. Uh, in some, you can use it with affirmative. And because you make reference for something in plural, the combination is there are some, right? Because it is more than one. La, la, en este caso, esa palabra que nos ayuda a... Es una expresión que da referencia a cantidad. No es específica, pero da referencia a cantidad. Lo utilizamos con los plurales, ¿verdad? Porque decimos que hay algunas. Entonces, uh, quiere decir que hay más de una, por lo menos. Uh -huh. How many? How many? Es probable. Se puede utilizar en ese contexto, pero también con el there is y el there are. Yo pudiera decir, there are four, four computers. Very specific. There are four computers. But other alternative, if I don't want to be specific, I can say there are some computers, right? There are uh -huh. some. Ahí yo pudiera decir que hay algunas computadoras, unas cuantas, por darle un ejemplo. No soy específico en la cantidad, pero sí se sobreentiende que es, es más de una. Entonces, por eso lo utilizamos con plurales. No podríamos decir there is some, there is some, tal vez, tal vez, en ciertos, en ciertos contextos, sí, 
pero la mayor cantidad de veces cuando hablamos de algo contable nos vamos con there are some plural elements. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. Oh, perfect, thank you so much. You see, that's the idea to have some questions. Mr. Edwin Vladimir, is there any question for, for you? No, I don't have a question. Everything clear so far. Thank you. Thank you so much, people. And congratulations on this one. Let me copy a link to this practice and let me give it to you so you can uh, later enter this one and check on some of the information, please. All right. Les voy a copiar el enlace a la, como la, la pizarrita donde pusimos los comentarios para que usted la visite después y vea los ejemplos. Ahí ya no lo va a poder editar, pero va, va a tener acceso a la práctica para que vea cómo reportamos la información. Congratulations, all of you. You did great as always. And that's very nice. Very nice of you. Now, let's work on the, this part that is also necessary. And let me have a collaboration. Let me ask on Mr. David Antonio. Can I have your collaboration to read this objective, please? Yes. Um, we will be able to ask for and um, provide information on location of facilities of the company. All right. Thank you so much. So that's what we do today, right? We give information about location. And talking about facilities are the different place. Game room is a facility. Cafeteria, other facility. What is other facility that you know, people? Some of the vocabulary. Let me see. Joaquin, what, what is other facility you can mention? Can you repeat the question? Yeah, no problem. We are checking information for today. As in this one, we're talking about facilities in the company. For example, the game room is a facility. The cafeteria yeah. is other facility. What other can you mention, Joaquin? Um, a living room. Uh, all right. All right. Thank a you. A lobby. A lobby. A lobby. All right. Exactly. Just a uh, living room, more like, like the house. A lobby is fine. Thank you so much. Oscar Alberto, what is what is other facility you can mention? My company. Uh, uh -huh. Or in general, in your company or in general, no problem. Maybe in the, how do you say, teacher, clinica empresarial? Uh, you, can, you can say like a business clinic, probably? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Business clinic and mm -hmm. trans transportation. What is uh -huh. it? Transport. Tra transportation, but talking That's about facil facilities is a place. Ah, okay. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. So what is a what is a facility that you have? For example, cafeteria, game Cafe room, Cafeteri lobby. Uh, there is an, a a game room. There is oh. a lobby. There is a cafeteria. Uh, there is a, a smoking area. Oh, all right. Interesting. There, thank you so there much. Are, there are many meeting rooms. Amazing. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Those. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Oscar. Thank you so much. And as we were mentioning, those are part of facilities, right? Different places in the office. Good job. Now, let's work on something quick. What do we have at this moment, people? Take a look. Yeah, conversation practice. practice. Exactly. Thank you so much. We have a quick conversation practice. Take a look at this info. Tell me, who is this lady? Mary. Mary. All right. All right. Thank you so much. So probably we have Mary. And what about this man next to her? Who is this? Walter. It's Walter. 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 All right, thank you so much. And what about Walter the rest? Yeah, probably, thank you so much. And what about the rest of the people? Who are they? Co-workers. Supervisors. Listeners. Listeners, probably. Probably. <laughs> exactly. Thank you so much. Now, we have a short conversation on this part. Let me erase this one. Thank you so much for your help. 
and we have some people participating on this one as you see now uh let's do something i read this information to you one time then we look we check on vocabulary and then we practice right we practice as much as possible first part listen please this is the conversation from the book good morning good morning everyone it's a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer hello everybody i am mary and i'm providing some safety instructions today tell us about that miss mary wear a helmet all the time walk between the yellow lines and don't forget to wear earplugs all the time it is important not to get close to red areas okay simple quest simple conversation that we have now let me see on this part is there any new word for you people in this conversation i don't helmet. remember teacher. helmet oh no problem all right, thank you. Helmet is this protection from the lady. Okay. That one is a helmet. Protection Hel for your head. Mm -hmm. Sorry. It, yeah, it, it uh, in helmet. Spanish, we we can say casco. No. It, that's that's the one. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. Okay. That's the one. Sorry. That's that's the one. That's the vocabulary word. Helmet. Protection for your head, right? Mm -hmm. Any other people that you are uh that you need some help with? Air plus. All right, thank you so much. Check on this one. Talking about earplugs is this one. Take a take a look at this illustration. Earplugs. Yes. Protection like... for protection for ear. Ear. ear exactly right protection for ear that is what you call earplugs mm -hmm. what is the name in spanish teacher ah that's a good one how do you call that one people how do you call that in spanish protector anti-ruido all right because i don't i don't use them that's why right protector anti-ruido it's possible. <laughs> Tell me, people, what about in your company or in your work? Do you uh, do you wear earplugs in your company, in your work? No, no, it's not necessary. Not necessary. All right. What about for the rest of you? Let me see for Jose Francisco. Do you wear earplugs? Mm. Yes. Um, At work? Do you, do you need this yes, one? Yes, uh, work, let, but let... a veces. Sometimes. You say sometimes. Sometimes. Ah, sometimes. Yes, mm -hmm. sometimes. All right, all right. Sometimes for you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let me have more people participate. What about for you, David Antonio? Do you wear earplugs at work? Sorry, um, no, in, in my work, I don't use earplugs. Right. Uh, in this case, you say, I don't wear. I don't wear. Exactly. Earplugs. Thank you. Thank you so much. Only headset. <laughs> Only headset. Oh. Do you work in a call center? Yes. All right. But when the customer is angry, you should have some earplugs right? connected, right? I don't listen uh, in to my case, <laughs> In my case, I, I am a trainer. In oh. QA. All right. All right. Quality I assurance. The, the grabación. The recording. The recording of, ah, of clients. Interesting. So you monitor the interaction from the agent with the customer. Yes. All right. All right. And is the is the call center in English or Spanish? In Spanish. In Spanish. All right. Amazing. Amazing. All right. And then you, I imagine, uh, what do you do after you listen to that recording? I, mm -hmm. I put or mm -hmm. 
coloco puntos. Uh, you can say, I, uh, uh -huh. I, I put a score, yeah. I put a score. And then I give the feedback to agent. All right, all right. Amazing, amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. All right. You see, some people wear them. Some other people don't, all right? And that's very nice. Thank you so much. What about uh, any other expression, people? Let me give you other one that I, I thought of, of this one. For example, if you have, in this case, floor is similar to, say, an area where you work, like a plant, right? When you say the floor manager, uh, or in this case, the floor safety engineer, it's talking about a person responsible for a group of people or for an area similar to this one. Take a look at this information, at this picture. There are some people working in this area. So we can say this is a floor, a group of people working in something. So this person is responsible, in this case, the safety engineer is responsible for this group, right? Como dicen, de piso, ¿verdad? o en este caso, tal vez de una área. Se, se podría entender cuando hacemos referencia a un floor. Floor literalmente es piso, ¿ok? Pero acá, floor safety engineer, no es que el ingeniero sea de, de, de andar reparando el suelo, ¿verdad? Sino que se refiere a la planta o tal vez al grupo de personas en una área específica. Floor safety engineer. Now, I believe after that, all the questions probably are solved. Let me work on something. Today, I put numbers, but I will choose you the, at this moment, right? I will give the number. So listen and be alert. I know everybody wants to participate, but I will give uh, the chance for three people and three people. That's the way we work. The next one, the highlighter, let me get other color. The red one, is for everybody, right? Tell us about that, Miss Mary. That is everybody. So we have three participations on this part. Let me see. Number one, I give number one for, uh, oh, thank you so much, right? I have some volunteers and I love it. Thank you, thank you. Maria Jose, number one. Madeline, number two. Julia, number three. And the rest and the other is for everybody, all right? Thank you so much. You start, lady. Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to in introduce the new floor safety engineer. Engineer. Uh -huh. Hello, everybody. I am Mary, and I am providing some safety instruction today. Thank everybody. Tell us. Tell us about, Tell us about this, about this Mary. Miss Mary, thank you so much. Number three. Wear a helmet all the time. Walk between the yellow lines and don't forget to wear the earplugs all the time. It is important not to get close to red areas. Thank you so much, Miss William. Thank you so much uh, for the people who participated first. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let me see. Miss Lisette Palma, are you ready to participate? Yes. All right, perfect. You are number one on this one. Oscar, you are number two. Then everybody. And Nestor, number three. Thank you so much for volunteering, people. Ms. Lisette, you start. Good morning, everyone. Everyone, It is a Good pleasure morning. to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Hello, everybody. I am Mary, and I am providing, providing some safety instruction today. Everybody. Tell us about Tell that, us Mary. Us about that. About that. Mr. Mary. Mr. Mary. Thank you. Number three. Wear a helmet all the time. What between the yellow lines? And don't forget to wear the airplugs all the time. It's important not to get close to red areas. Thank you so much for that participation, people. Thank you so much. Let's go for other round of participation. Miss Ines, you did. I give you number one. I give number two for Edwin. And I give number three for Ana Cecilia. All right. Thank you so much, people. 
You start, Ines. Okay, good. Good night. Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Hello, everybody. I am Mary and I am providing town safety instructions today. Everybody! Thank you. Number three. Wear a helmet at the time. Walk between the yellow lines and don't don't forget to wear the airflow at all the time. It is important not to get close to real areas. Okay, thank you so much. Let's go for the last participation, the last round of participations. And I give number one, let me see, for Josue, did you participate, Josue? Yes. I did did you participate? No. You participate, Josue? No, all right, number no. one, Josue, number one for you. Uh, Javier, you go for number two, thank you so much. And let me see other person, Miss Mercedes, are you ready to participate? Yes. All right, I give you number three for you, all right? Thank you so much. Last round. Josue, you start. Good morning, everyone. It is a pleasure to introduce the new floor. Uh, what is pronunciation? Safety engineer. Flo floor, floor safety engineer. Floor, floor safety, safety engineer. engineer. Floor okay. safety engineer. Thank you. Number two. Hello, everybody. I'm Javier and I'm providing some safety introductions today. Instructions, sorry, instructions today. All right, everybody, please tell us. Tell us. Tell us. About tell us. About us. About tell us. us. All right, thank you. Number three. Wear a helmet all the time. Work between the yellow lines mm -hmm. and don't forget to wear the airports all the time. It is important not to get close to red areas. All right, thank you. Thank you so much for that. Now, before we move on to the next exercise, I just want to have some review with you about pronunciation. Let me highlight some expressions to you and we work together. Give me a sec, uh, highlighter. There we are. Let's go for this one. Right now, repeat after me, people. Pleasure, pleasure. Ah, pleasure, pleasure, pleasure. One more time. Now the the complete expression. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. It's All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let me see the other one. Listen and repeat after after me. Introduce. 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 Mm -hmm. introduce, right? Introduce, introduce. Uh, uh no introduce, introduce, use, introduce. right? At the end, introduce, introduce. exactly, introduce. right? Perfect, perfect, thank you so much. The next one, check on this one, work, safety, everybody, safety. 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 Thank you so much, I appreciate that. The next one, engineer. Everybody, engineer. 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 There, engineer. There we are. Thank you so much. Let's go for the next one. We have some words to work on. Providing. 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 All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. The next one, instructions. 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 It's like a production. Similar to that sound, exactly. It's exactly. We don't say instruct instructions. Uh uh. We don't go like that one. Instruct. 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 Instructions. Instructions. Perfect. Nicely done. Nicely done. The next one. Let's see. Wear a helmet. That's okay. The other one. Vocabulary. Ear earplugs. 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 Ear Everybody? Earplugs. Earplugs. Exactly. Earplugs. And the last and the last one, just to practice, helmet. Helmet. 
Helmet. Helmet. Helmet. There we are. Exactly. Thank you so much. All right. Remember to practice these words, all right? Because when we are in the class, we do great. But after the class, and that is very common, sometimes we forget the pronunciation. So we need to practice a lot. To practice, practice, and practice. All right. Remember my piece of advice from yesterday? The more you practice, the better you are. Right? Nada más el comentario. Recuerde practicar. Recuerde que eso es su mejor amigo en este momento, la práctica. Si usted practica mucho, va a recordar pronunciación. Igualmente va a ganar fluidez porque es parte de cómo articulamos las palabras. A veces hasta se siente complicado decir un sonido después del otro. Hasta siente uno que se va a morder la lengua o que hasta uno se traba. Es un proceso muy normal. Pero entre más usted practique va a tener más soltura, va a poder hablar más rápido. Pero si usted no practica, créame que el progreso va a tener, pero va a ser lento. Entonces, yo creo que todos queremos aprender rápido, aprenderlo de buena manera. Así que eh, echémosle un poquitito de ganas. Con pronunciación sí necesitamos trabajarlo mucho, porque de una clase a otra, de pronto pareciera que necesitamos refuerzo con palabras como instruction ya no debería ser parte de las que repetimos porque ya tenemos retroalimentación durante esta, durante esta semana. Pero seguimos con instructions y no es instruction, es instructions, right Entonces vea todas esas palabritas que usted diga de pronto, ay, otra vez vamos a repetir la misma, pero necesitamos reforzar. Entonces tratemos de practicar lo más que pueda. Como les digo, después de clase, se trate de repetir. En el, durante el día, si puede, trate de leerlo, trate de articularlo, ¿ok? Eso créame que le va a ayudar muchísimo. Lo estamos haciendo bien, pero yo sé que podemos todavía mejorar un montón. Y todos tenemos el potencial. So, please, let's keep on working. Working hard, please, 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 all right? And you'll do great next time in the practices. Now, after this info, let me show you the next part. Take a look at this one and let's have some people participate. Mr. Javier, what do you see? Then I watch a uh, review. All right. Thank you so much. Use your imagination, Javier. What music is the radio playing at this moment? Obviously, a monomath. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Let me have more people. Use your imagination. I love when you do it. Alejandra Maria, what music is that radio reproducing at this moment? Joaquin Sabina's music. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. What about for you, Oscar? Can you repeat my question, teacher? Yeah. Use your imagination, right? What music uh, is that radio playing at this moment? Ah, uh, it's playing. Uh... What do you say? Tex-Mex music. Tex-Mex? Like Selena or something? Yes, I like, like it. Like Amor Prohibido or something? <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> Como La Flor. Como La Flor, amazing, <laughs> right? Only hits. <laughs> yes. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, thank you for your participation, people. What do we do at this moment? Take a look. Listening practice. Listening practice. Listening practice. Exactly. We have an exercise about listening. For this one, let me show you the next activity and then I give you access to this exercise. Let me see. I believe this is good enough. All right. Do you see my browser, people? Yes, I guess. Yes. All right. Thank you so much. At this moment, we work on this one. That is the preparation of this activity, all right? Take a look at the different illustrations. We have some illustrations here. And I have some vocabulary words. Let me uh, let me make it bigger so you can use, you don't have problems to see this info. The bigger, the better, I believe. Yeah, 300 could be okay. Now, let's work on vocabulary and repeat after me. Or No, I know you're experts, people. How do you say this one? The first expression, you say? Uh, 
Turn left. Turn left. Turn left. Exactly. What about the next one? We say? Traffic lights. Traffic lights. Traffic lights. Thank you. What about the other one? Next, next two. two. Next two. The next one is? Roundabout. 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 Exactly. The next instruction? Take, take the, the second, second left. left. Okay. Take the second left. What about the other one? Go past. Pass. Go past. Exactly. Thank, Thank you so much. You. The other one is? Take, Thank the, you. Second Take the second right. right. Take the second right. Exactly. What about the other one? Go, Go straight, straight on. on. Go straight on. Repeat after me. Go straight Go. on. Go straight on. Go straight on. Thank you. Thank you so much. What about the other one? Turn, Turn right. right. Turn right, exactly. Thank you so much. And the last one? Opposite. 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 Exactly. There opposite. we are. Thank you so much. We say opposite. Thank you. Now, let's work together on this exercise, people. We work as a class. For example, the first illustration that you see here, what is that? What is the description? What is the, the vocabulary turn expression? Turn, 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 left. turn left. left. Turn left. Turn right. left. Ah, oh, thank you. What about the other one? We say? Turn, turn right. 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 Ah, perfect. You say turn right. Take a look at the other ex the other illustration. What do we say? Go straight. Go straight. Go straight. On. Go straight right. Go straight on. Thank you. Right? As we say in Spanish, right? Dale recto, right? Go straight <laughs> on. <laughs> exactly. But this is a good expression, right? In Spanish, it's not like that, right? In Spanish, it's not. But in English, yeah, we say go straight on, right? No, no deviations on that one. Take a look at the other illustration. What do we say on this one? Take, take the, the second, second right. Second left. Ah, take the second left. Thank you so much. Let me transfer that one. The other one is Perfect, perfect, perfect. Take a look at the next illustration. What is it? Next two. All right. Thank you, Nestor. No. What about the rest? Um... Check on the other one, right? Check on the check on the other so you get the idea. What do we say on this one? We have next two opposite, okay. go past yes. and round about. Opposite. opposite. Next two. Opposite. Next two? Next two. All right. Let me give Next. it a try. All right. Let's give it a try. Thank you so much. What about uh, this other illustration? Opposite. 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 Ah, we say pronunciation? Opposite. 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 Ah. Opposite. Opposite. Thank you. Opposite. Exactly. That's the vocabulary word. Let me go this one. Opposite. Ah. Take a look Opposite. at... Thank you. The next okay. illustration is? Go. Go. Go past. Go past. All go right. Past. Go past. Exactly. Go past. Two places that you see on a street. What about this one? It is? Uh, roundabout. 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 Exactly. Roundabout. Mm -hmm. There we are. Roundabout. And the last one is? And traffic. We say? And traffic lights. Light. Perfect. Perfect. And now it's done on this one. Traffic lights. Let's click on finish. And in this one, congratulations to all of you on vocabulary. Good job, people. You did nice, nice, nice. The second part after the preparation is a listening exercise. And let me explain this to you. <laughs> I will give you access to the link and you will see this browser. Your task is to check on the map, but let's do it together at this moment. Let me uh, work on this info with you so we can have some information. What place is this, people? Hospital. 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 What about this one? Italian restaurant. restaurant. Thank you. Perfect. What about this? It's a? Theater. 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 There we are. And this one is? Yes. 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 All right. Now, 
let's continue with the practice ¿Qué tal? but ¿Cómo será? let's let's try to use the vocabulary from the previous activity from the previous class we are going to say there is a or there is an let me put the notes over here we're going to be using some information there is a or there is an depending on the vocabulary words right let me uh, transfer this one and let me let me put it somewhere here let me see let me make it a little bit smaller perfect there, is, there we are I need your collaboration. Remember, we say there is a or an. Now, people, what do we say this one? Complete sentence. There is a bus station. Thank you, Nestor. What about the rest? What happened? We say? There is a bus station. Thank you, Tamar. Thank you. What about the other one? We say there. There is an underground station. Thank you so much for the feedback. That's correct. There is an underground station. Thank you, thank you. What about the other? We say there is a cinema. There is a cinema. Thank you so much. The next one is, please. There is a bookshop. There is a bookshop. What about the other one? There is a police station. There is a police station. Thank you. What about the other one? There. There is a cafe. There is a cafe. In this one, we go for cafe, right? Because it is a borrowing, right? In this one, I explained. Tiene la palabra muy literal como en español porque es un préstamo de otro idioma. Entonces no, no, no hay traducción porque se sabe que café lo decimos coffee. ¿Ok? Pero acá hay eh, algunas excepciones, no con todas. Pero el café es, es tanto reconocido que se le puede mencionar de esa forma. Al, a la tienda donde tomamos, eh, el, where you drink coffee. Right? It is possible like that one. So it's a café. No problem on this one. Right? What about the other one? Sentence. There is a factory. The other, please. There is a supermarket. Amazing. And there is a library. 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 There is a library. There is a library. There we are. And this one is. There is a post office. There is a post office. And I believe the last one. There is, there is a shop. Thank you so much, everyone, for your collaboration. I love that one. Now, take a look at this one. What is the name of this road? King's Road. King's Road. King's Road. King's road. King's road. King's road. Exactly. Take a look at the other street. What is the name of this street? Green Street. Green. Thank you so much. And what about the name of the other street? Bond Street. Bond Street. Thank you so much. People, what is this? Okay. In vocabulary, we say? Roundabout. 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 Exactly. Roundabout. And what about this one? What's this? Traffic light. Traffic light. Traffic light. Thank you so much. All right? You, thank you so much. So at this moment, we have this information. Thank you, thank you Isha, for that. Tell me, tell me. Please, uh, pronunciation uh, teatro, theater. I... No problem. No problem. I help you. In this case, you say like this one, theater. 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 Okay, yeah. thank you. I'm happy to help. Right? You say go for a theater. Now, after checking all of these words and everything on the vocabulary, this is what we do. We work on the listening section. Oh, give me a second. We work on the listening section, and this is what we do. Sorry. Let me move this one here. We are going to work on this exercise, but we are going to open 
the first exercise that is that is this one you see something like this i need your collaboration please to click on this part check your understanding gap filling type in click on this one and you will have the exercise in this part all right and you are going to open this part and you are going to click on the listening here, all right? A. Go straight. You listen to the instructions, all right? And then when you listen, you can repeat the listening if you want, right? You can repeat two or three times. And after that, you are going to type. The speaker gives directions to, right? Because the person is telling you how to go to one place. The reference. You are here, right? This is the starting point. You listen to this one, and then you mark, you type in your answers. For example, take a look at this part. I give one example. You are here. The person tells you, go straight on, pass the traffic lights, take the first right, right? The place is next to the museum. Right. What is the place I am giving instruction? Factory. Exactly, right? So you listen to something similar, right? Go straight on, go past the traffic lights, turn right, turn left. This place is next to the museum. Ah, next to the museum, you see the information, and then you type in your answers. That is what you have to do, right? Questions about this exercise? Oh, no. Not so far. All right. Let's begin then. Let me give you the link. You work individually on this one. And then you send me your screenshots. All right. Les paso por acá el enlace para que usted pueda ingresar. Abra eh, el enlace y abajo del mapa que va a ser su referencia, usted va a ver el reproductor de, de media, de audios. Y luego usted va, va a aperturar la segunda línea como moradita que le dice check your understanding gap feeling five conversations right five speakers tenemos cinco personas que van a hablar y cinco personas dan instrucciones de cómo llegar a un lugar usted escribe acá el lugar para donde la persona lo guió eso es lo que va a hacer nada más right yo voy a escribir aquí algo al random okay? clinic no, la clinic no está por ahí pero yo me la inventé hospital like this one and park Cuando ya tenga los cinco lugares, cuatro lugares, sorry, le da finish y ahí va a, re, va a chequear su progreso. Me manda captura al, al, al chat para ver que también le fue. Now, do you have access to the practice, people? Can you make a confirmation? Do you have access? Yes. Yes? You do? All right. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Yes, I, will, I will give you five minutes to work on this exercise, right? Listen to the recording type in your answers and let's see how it goes. Thank you so much.
Thank you so much. I see some responses. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I see more responses. Thank you so much. Tell me, people, how was the practice? Was it difficult? Was it hard? Easy. So, so. How was the practice? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me see some. Thank you so much. How was the practice? Let me have some people. Miss Oscar Alberto, how was the practice? Easy? So so it, a little easy, but in the, in the first time I get I got a zero percent because oh. I do I did it in capital letters. Capital letters, all oh, right. Yes. Oh, no you. problem. All right, no problem. Thank you so much. What about for you, Madeline? How was the practice? Easy, so so difficult. What about for you, Joaquin? How was the practice? Also. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Perfect. Congratulations to you. You did great on this exercise. There is other exercise that you can do later as a practice, right? Check your understanding, gap filling. You transfer the expressions here, but that could be as extra assignment, not at this moment, right? Not at this moment, but so far you did really great. So people, congratulations on this practice. Thank you, thank you so much. Now, uh, can we continue with the next activity? Yes. All right, let's do it. Thank you so much. Take a look at the other one. What practice do we have today? Vocabulary. 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 Right. <laughs> exactly, vocabulary. There we are. Now, let me show you the next activity to you. And I believe it's nice if we work together as a class. Now, do you see my new screen, people? Yes. yes. Perfect. Yes. Thank you so much. Let's work together. This expression is in disorder, but I need your collaboration to tell me the, the words in order. So I need your collaboration to spell, right? For example, in this we have letter T. But what should be the first letter? Don't tell me the complete word. Just spell the word. What is the first letter? Um, All right, let's see this one. All right, thank you. You see, they change color. In the correct position, they change color. What do we need next? R. R. U. Oh, um, check on this one. Production. Production. Spell it, spell it, spell it. Spell it. <laughs> ah, R. O O D D U U exactly C C C Uh huh T I o, and then O N O N, o -N. O -N. O -N. Thank you so much. N. How do we spell the last word in this part? Aria. All right. Aria. And Aria. Thank you. Ah, oh, perfect. <laughs> and how do we spell it? We say A A. A R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R
E I. Thank you, right? Thank you so much. You say E A, right? E A. E -A. Exactly. Next one. Take a look at this one. They are in this order. How do we spell this word? P. All right, let's give it a try. Let's see. P. Oh, no P. Uh, hmm. P. T. 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 You say T. Oh, sorry, sorry. My bad. My bad. My bad. No, no, let it see. Ooh, C. 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 Let her see. C is already yeah. here. No. Uh, no. All right, let me see. let's see on this one. Oh, R is okay. Uh, what is next? E. 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 Uh-huh. Then P. P. T. P. T. T. P. I. 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 O. N. I. O. N. Thank you. What's the word, people? Reception. 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 Re reception. Reception. Correct. Reception. Let's go for the next one. Two words in this one. What is the first letter in this part? Letter F. H. Letter in the in the first part we say. Oh no! Oh no! Um. Mm -hmm. R. No. Let's give it a try. Why not? Oh, no R, but we have some some Gee, some clues. M. Letter M. Let's see. Uh, letter A. a. Good. Letter A. Then. And. N. 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 Uh, a. I. A. 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 J, uh -uh, this is G not J. G. 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 Ah, thank <laughs> Sorry, you so G. much. You see? That's why we're double checking on this. Thank you. And the first word is people. Oh, manager. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, manager. Oh. Right. And what about the other? Oh, 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 oh. F, 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 no, no problem, no problem, right? Thank you so much. Thank you. The complete expression is people. Manager office. Office. Thank you. Thank you so much. Next one. Let's work with the first section. What's the first letter? P. P. All right. Let me move it. Okay. Thank you. L. 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 A. 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 Uh -huh. I. I. N. 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 Right, planning, 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 planning area, planning, planning, area. planning, planning area. area. Amazing, thank you so much. Let's work together. What about the next one? How do we order? See, let's, okay, let's give it a try. See, mm, no, but we have some ideas now. Okay, let's see. A. You. 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 Ah, thank you. And what about the last, the last, the last word? How do we spell it? O. 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 F. 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 I. 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 C. E. I. C. E. Exactly. Complete. Complete expression. Auditor office. Auditor office. Auditor office. Perfect. Thank you so much. Let's work on the next one. You are on fire today. I know. What about the, this part? Who? Quality. Who? Ha, Q. 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 Ha, ha, thank you. Q. <laughs> Q. A. U. A. U. A. 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 I. A. A. Perdón. Perdón. A. 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 Uh -huh. L. 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 I I I I I I people I people it is exactly thank you right and the last one how do you spell it 
Mm. Ali. C. C. All right. Thank you so much. C. O. 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 N. N. Oh, sorry. Give me a second. No. N. No. T. C. C. R. O. L. R. Quality R. control. Thank you. Thank you so much. Expression one more time. Quality control, quality. everybody. Quality, quality control. control. Thank you. <laughs> this one, only one expression, only one word, but yeah. how do we order it? R. R. Let's give it a time. Why not? R. Yeah. S. 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 Uh -huh. T. T. O. R. R. R O M S M S S and we say people restroom 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 Rest 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 exactly there we are this one let's order it E E E X e e e X e X, e X, e X then we have I X I T e Right, and we say T ex exit. Exit. Right. Thank you so much. We have exit. We're about to finish, people. What about this one? How do we order? H H H I I A A A I or A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A there we are. And we say Paul. 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 Perfect. Uh, I believe this is the last one. Let's work together. I know we can do it. P. P. All right. Let's see. P. P. I. I. A. A. I. A. 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 I. A. 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 R R K Q K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K we have five. some vocabulary. <laughs> yeah. We have some vocabulary. Let's do it one more time. Let's practice after me. Production area. Everybody. Production, production area. area. No area. production. Uh, uh, no production. 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 Perfect. That's nice. Reception. 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 Re reception. Reception. Thank you. Manager office. Manager, Manager office. 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 Thank you. Manager. The next one. Planning area. Planning, Planning area. area. Auditor office. Auditor, Auditor office. office. Quality control. Quality, Quality control. control. Restrooms. 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 Exit. 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 Hall. Car. Oh. Parking. 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 All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Good job. Good job. Do these places exist in your company? Are these places in your company? Yes. 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 What yes. places yes. are there? All of them. All of them. Amazing. Well, Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. What is the meaning of hold, teacher? Hall, uh, let me explain, let me show you in this one. Let's see. In this case, when you make reference to a hall, it is a place where you can go from one point to other points, like in this one, right? The, this is a hall. It is a section that communicates one part of the building to other part, similar to this one. Is this this is the space? It's a hole, right? Similar to this one, 
And let me go for other one. It's like this. Es como un pasillo, un hall. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, all of them. All right. Uh, all of them. <laughs> now, double checking. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much, people. Now, I explain to you what we do. After checking on that information, this is what we work. We work in teams. And let me explain this to you. I believe you're watching my browser, right? You watch my browser at this moment? Yeah? Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. And what is this practice about? Take a look. This is about work. Work facility. facility. Facilities. Exactly. Remember the facilities? The places, a reception, manager, lobby, all of them are facilities. And at this moment, we work together. Take a look at this one. Let me go for this. This is from group number one. This is a map of a company. What letters do we have? Take a look at this one. We have letter A, a then B, B. B. Check out C. the other C, then D, D. D. E. 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 F. 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 I. Next one is G. G. The other is G. H. 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 I. 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 All right. I. Thank you so much. We only have mm -hmm. the letters to show the position in the company, but they don't have names. What is the activity at this moment? Imagine this is your company. And as a group, you need to put the names of the different places, right? For example, number one. What place is number one? What do you think? Letter A, what is it? Is this a restaurant? No. 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 What is it for you? Kitchen. Kitchen, kitchen for, all right. No. No. What is it, Carla? No. I don't mm -hmm. remember. What do you what say? Is but is cafeteria? No. No. Es meeting room. Sale reuniones. Meeting room? No. Yes. Oh. No. Lactancy area. <laughs> Lactancy area. All right. Lactancy area. We don't know. All right. That's what you work on, right? This is your company. You make a decision. Take a look at the place. And if you tell me this is a game room, I believe you, right? But you need to express, hey, what, what place is this? And then you express, hey, I think it's a meeting room. No, I think it's a cafeteria. The other, no, I think it's the manager's office. You express ideas and reach an agreement. When you have made a decision, put the information here. Let me show this yes. to you, right? You go in this one and you go in letter A and you say, ah, this is the manager's office. All right, that's it. Then you go okay. for letter B. What is that? But I need your interaction to describe the different places. So you can make, you can make, uh, you may propose different places. It is not, there is no one only correct answer. Vea que necesito que practiquemos ¿Qué lugar usted cree que es? De lo que ya conoce, usted sugiere lugares. Vea que algunos se prestan para, si usted dice que es una sala de conferencia, puede ser. Lleguen a un acuerdo. Usted, el otro de pronto dice, no, hombre, that is not a meeting room. That, that, is, uh, that is an office. Esa es una oficina para mí. Todos expresan ideas. Luego llegan a un acuerdo y, y lo rotulan como ustedes quieran. ¿Ok? Eso es lo que van a trabajar. Es su compañía, así que ustedes deciden ¿Cómo van a llamar a cada parte de acuerdo a la organización que tenemos? El único que no va a haber mucho pierde son los restrooms. Ese creo que no se va a perder. No, no creo que le pongamos restroom a otra área. Las de ahí, los demás, se prestan para que usted decida qué va a hacer. ¿Ok? That's, rest that's area, the idea. Teacher. Yeah, exactly. It's the rest area for the break. Exactly. It's to take a nap. All right? That's what you do. All right? And that's why you have the letters here. Vea que yo le puse ya las letras en el mapa. Y les puse acá en un cuadro de texto las letras para que usted solo vaya eh, poniendo los nombres de las áreas que usted considera que van a ser esas, ¿ok? And as always, copy the group members, please. Cópime, por favor, acá 
los nombres de las personas que están en el grupo, pero recuérdese, solo las personas que tienen activo su micrófono y pueden participar. Aquellos que no participan, que no están aportando nada, no me los escriba, ¿verdad? Porque yo después chequeo quienes participaron. Entonces, el que no aportó nada, no lo ponemos en, al momento, ¿ok? Pero tratemos de todos practicar. ¿Are we ready for the practice? Yes. Yes, yes teacher. All right. Yes. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We're going to have 15 minutes. Creo que tenemos el resto de la clase, que serían casi 15 minutos, 14 minutos, para trabajar, hacer, eh, make proposals about this one, and reach an agreement, right? Tenemos ese tiempo para que usted proponga qué, qué parte es cada una de la que ven el mapa y podamos llegar a un acuerdo. Y usted me deja plasmado ahí qué áreas son las que ven el mapa, la que ustedes consideró. Now, let's make the groups. I believe I have, let me see, six slides, if I am not mistaken. Right, let me see. I have five groups. Tengo cinco grupos. Recuerde, si usted está en la sala tres, entonces la diapositiva tres va a ser la suya. Si está en el grupo, eh, grupo uno, uh, entonces usted ve en la diapositiva y dice group one members. Entonces, esa va a ser la que va a trabajar. El documento es compartido. Recuerde que trabajamos con algo en línea. Así que todos vamos a tener acceso al mismo documento. Así que ojo con lo que usted cambia de otro compañero. No es necesario que los cuatro miembros, si es que hay cuatro en el grupo, no es necesario que los cuatro abran el documento. Si quieren uno que tenga computador y le sea más fácil, puede trabajar y los demás ap aportan oralmente. ¿ok? No es necesario que todos estén en el mismo documento. Si quieren estarlo, perfecto. Si no, una persona puede colaborar con el grupo para que puedan ir editando la información. Are you ready for this? Yes, yes teacher. teacher. Yes, All teacher. right, let's do it. Five groups and try to give ideas and make a decision on this one. Thank you so much. We start at this moment. Thank you.
Bayern. Dr. Saria, maybe. Or closer. Yeah. This is not a bad strike. <laughs> I don't know. 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 I don't in the presentation, hello? Uh-huh. Uh, it, no, no uh, it could be in ajustar. If you see in, in, in there is a section over uh, okay. there. Oh, I, I believe. Yeah, I believe yeah, it's yeah. over there. Yes. Thank you, teacher. I don't see. <laughs> no problem. Yeah, I, that's the one. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> no problem. I'm happy Letter to help you. <laughs> yes or more, more size? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes, Carlita. Uh, uh, there bathroom. Um. No, letter C is breakfast? bedroom. Breakfast. Yes. Letter breakfast? B. Breakfast? I don't know. Letter B. Um. <laughs> teacher, what do you say? Casilleros. Lockers. Oh. Exactly. Lockers. Lo oh, ah, lockers. Pero bar locker is not the eh, machine, el, como el estante. Uh, yeah, that, that's part of the lockers, but what do you want to say? Eh, ¿Qué casillero en específico necesita? Digamos como, no. Like Ahí, a closet. Walking no, closet. no. Es como que fuera... Uno mm. cuando está en el trabajo le dice los casilleros y es donde van todos los asociados como a cambiarse. O lo, 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 ah, los, sería sería los... un locker un locker room. Ah, locker room, ok. Exacto, porque locker is like, like the part of furniture, let's say, como, como parte de, 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 las, de, lo, de los mm -hmm. muebles, ¿verdad? Como el mm -hmm. locker. Okay. Pero el lugar podría ser un locker room, room un que locker ya room. está para cambiarse y dejar sus cosas ya en cada, en cada casillero. Locker oh, room. Okay. Ajá. ok, ok. Thank you, teacher. Let her see bedroom. Digo, no, bathroom. Red room. I, I Red. would love a bedroom over there. <laughs> Why not? To sleep. Bathroom. Yes. Eh, no, bathroom de baño. Let her see. But, but bathroom is one. Her age is restroom. Teacher, we don't have a... Um, Laptop, and uh, no we only we only typing in in this group. In uh, that's okay. Group. That's okay. It's okay. Yeah, that's good. No problem. Do you have the 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 picture of the map? Uh, only click on link, and I am typing. All right. Okay. And that, sharing the screen. All right. Thank you. No problem. Thank you so much. So how how are you doing so far? No. Trying to understand letter B. <laughs> For me, yeah. there are lockers. <laughs> letter B. Lockers. Yes. Yes, yes. yes I suppose. It I could suppose. be. It could be, right? Remember, it's your decision. So if you think these are lockers, you say lockers. But if not, you say other 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 parts. There is no problem. Yo todo he movido. That's okay, <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> no problem. Thank you. Thank you. And letter G, meeting room. Pero me que ahorita, ahorita, dejarme de salir. Yo creo que moví todo ahí en la imagen. Dejarme salir. <laughs> es un gran asesor. <laughs> no, that's okay, thank you. Okay, letter C for me is... Bathroom. Bathroom. Because it yes. has a shower. Bathroom. Keep it up. Principal. Principal, yes. Yeah. 
No. Sara de interrogación, pongámosle. <risa> Interrogation room. Oh my goodness. Is this the police office? <risa> maybe, maybe. maybe. We don't know. That's okay. How is everything doing? Everything okay? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Keep it up. Congrats. Let's continue working. Thank you so much. One table more. Large. Yeah, the, the, the lactancy, lactancy room? No. No, but uh, letter, letter B, yeah. Um, letter D, mm. letter B could be lactancy room. Letter D. Mm, no, letter D. Letter D is a meeting room. Mm -hmm. Letter B. Ah, letter B. Yeah. Ah, letter B. Uh, letter B. Ah, yes. I don't know. Uh, I think of there is a a locker room. Look, look. A locker room. Locker, locker, locker. Locker room. What do you think? Mm. Oh, me salí sin querer. No, no sé si ya era hora. Hello, hello. No, that's okay. It's about to finish. We're about to finish. Don't worry. Uh, ah, okay. No problem. Thank yeah. you so much. More people coming. That's amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, homework two. Uh, what more? Today, today I socialize uh, one more activity for you. That's what I want to just pay attention to in the final minutes so we can uh, work on this one during uh, these days. See more people coming back. Thank you so much. All right, thank you so much. I see people coming back. Thank you so much, people, for your time in the practice. You did great. Before we uh, before we leave, let me socialize with you some information, all right? And this assignment, we will use it tomorrow, right? Lo que trabajaron en la diapositiva, mañana eh, lo vamos a explicar con otra actividad. Esta es la primera parte, so thank you so much. Before we leave, and according to the evaluation schedule, I need to explain to you the speaking evaluation. Check on the classroom, uh, classroom platform. Go all the way down on this one, and you see a speaking evaluation, please, right? Vamos a ver hasta el final. Vemos el apartado de speaking evaluation. Ahora ya lo tenemos activo. Y usted da clic sobre esto, and you see the description. What is the first part, All right? Let's work together. Trabajemos rápido y juntos en esta instrucción. Let me see. What is the first instruction? May. May. May a vote recording a two minutes. A two minutes. Two minutes. A two minutes. Two minutes. Exactly. exactly. A voice recording. Not video. No, only your voice, right? Solo su voz es necesario. No, no, no un video, sino que solo un audio. Okay. Estamos, estamos bien, right? And in, in the two minutes, you talk about the following things. Talk about the places around your work. That is the first part. For example, near my work, there is a park. Uh, there is a coffee There's shop, a right? Shop that the... sells good wood desserts. There are many buildings. So you give a description about places around your work. Vea que vamos a dividir en dos partes. En la primera ah, parte, yeah. la de lugares cerca de su trabajo. ¿Ok? Utilizando el there is y el there are para lugares alrededor de su trabajo o en una proximidad. The next one, also, talk about the places inside your work. 
vamos a hablar de los lugares que hay dentro de mi trabajo. Y a eso vamos a hablar de las facilities. Similar to the practice. Exacto. Lo que está haciendo es una preparación para que usted lo haga súper bien. Como ejemplo, yo le puse acá. Después, in my work, there is a lobby. There is a game room where people can, uh, can be during breaks. There, is, there, is, uh, there are restrooms. So you give a description about the places in your work. Right? So you talk about these two elements. Oh, sí. Usted va a hablar de esos dos elementos en la grabación de dos minutos que me va a mandar. Si gusta usted, divida un minuto y un minuto para hablar de, de los lugares. O oh, como usted guste, pero trate de llegar al tiempo requerido. Trate de dar la mayor cantidad de detalles. Y si de pronto dice usted, hey, pero es que en, a, la, a la parte de mi trabajo solo hay un parque y ya no hay nada más, pues invénteselo. Practice. <coughs> que yo no voy a ir a chequear si de verdad existen mm -hmm. los lugares. Sorry. <laughs> The next one. When your file is ready, where do you put it? In Google Drive. Google, Google Drive folder. Drive folder. Exactly. Se van a la carpeta del Google Drive y ahí pues van a subir su archivo. Donde subimos las, las capturas de la práctica, de las tareas. Uh -huh. Ahí mismo hay una carpeta que dice Speak and Evaluations. Su audio lo subí uh -huh. ahí y yo luego lo reviso y le doy su retroalimentación. When is, the, when is this activity due? Friday. 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 September. September. 23rd. 20, 23rd. 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 Exactly. 23rd. 23rd. The full day. Tienen todo el día viernes para subir su archivo. Ya si en, el, en la plataforma me marca sábado en la madrugada, sorry, out. Ahí quedamos fuera. Así que por favor, su colaboración con los envíos. Any question about this? No. No, teacher. No, teacher. No. Sure. no. All right, thank you so much, people. That will be all. Don't forget about the homework assignment that is, uh, that is ending today. Creo que ahora finaliza la tarea número dos, así que si no la ha subido, súbala. No se vaya a quedar sin su tarea y sin subirla, porfa. Recuerden que trabajamos con tiempos. People, thank you so much for your time in the class. It was nice having you here, and I love working with you. But now, time to go, time to sleep. And see you tomorrow. See you. See you tomorrow, teacher. Take Bye. care. Bye-bye. See you, everyone. Take care. Bye, teacher. Bye-bye.